Hello everyone, QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I am back today with another episode of Zero City. As you can see, we got some different things going on here with this video. I'm going to test out a couple different things. I moved the light source in a different spot. The camera is slightly different. Not sure if that will be any noticeable or not. And as you can see here on the bottom, I got a little bit of a, a lower thirds ticker going. Uh, I'm going to be playing with that over time. I don't love this, but it's a uh, first rendition, so we'll see how that goes. Got a little QC Runner logo on there, so we'll see. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, too much clutter too much on there or is it uh, useful um, part of the consideration here is if new people are coming in to look you know they might have just stumbled onto this video and don't really know about any of this kind of stuff so I want to get the, the socials out there and the link out there and you know get my branding out there a little bit more um, also obviously looking on the working on the the uh, the lighting and the view here a little bit so um, oh it's funny you didn't even see you probably didn't even see where I was pointing at but um, I was moving my cursor on the view that I could see but anyway, we got we got some things down here. We got the logo here. We got the the lower thirds going on here, and then the camera is slightly different. So um, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, don't really care. Better, worse. Um, anyway, just interested in what you're seeing. Um, the goal here is to progress forward with the with the channel, and make things a little bit more uh, visually appealing and informative. So that is that is a reason for some of this. So today we are going to jump in and cover more of the champions event. We are moving into the last week of the out of the three weeks. I'm going to announce the winners of the last week's giveaway, and I will announce next week's giveaway. As, as, um, as you may recall, I am trying to consolidate the giveaways into one weekly video. Uh, many viewers have suggested that maybe consolidate the giveaways for all my games for Hustle Castle, Zero City, and American Dad into one, and I'm keeping that option open for the future. This is the first full week of me running one day a week per and I've already had a little bit more time to start working on some of the other things I wanted to work on. So um, it's given me a little bit more time. Still not tons, but a little bit more extra time. So I'm going to see how this goes for a few weeks. And if it turns out I still need even more time, which it's, it's entirely possible I will because there's still more things I want to work on here, um, then I might consolidate it into, into one view. Ooh, this is something I was looking for that completes a daily item. As you can see, we got the little icon popping up saying we just completed something. Um, so we will look at that when we go talk about the event here shortly um so yeah you know continue to try to move things forward so that is the reason for all of this so let's go ahead and what are we going to do let's announce winners first let me go ahead and pop that up and we will announce the winner and then later in the video we will announce the the next giveaway so here we go our, our giveaway last week let's get this away from the icon up there sorry about that How about right there uh, the the giveaway last week, the range I gave you was 10,000 and 20,000, and the winning number was 16,195. And on the screen, you can see the five winners, the five closest guesses, Anonymous, Sep Hat, No Fly Zone, Sam West, and Dikos Engel. Congratulations, each of you have won 250 in-game. Sorry about that. I don't know if you see that showing up. It looks like you probably do. As you can see, we are announcing that right now. Uh, you will receive these more than likely on Friday. I believe all the, the winnings are on Friday, so the same thing as last week. I think that is that is definitely when the Hustle Castle giveaways are, uh, winnings are given away, and I'm pretty sure on Zero City that's going to be the, the way it is going forward. So um, keep an eye out for that. Let me know if you don't receive it in the next few days, and I will uh, look into it. So congratulations. Thank you for participating. And as I mentioned, I will announce the next giveaway. Uh, that's going to be coming for next week later on in this video. So I wanted to go in and cover the event. I actually took a little bit of time away from grinding the events. Hustle Castle's event was over. Reckon Dad's event was over other than me getting the re rewards. And it was only Zero City. So I've been doing the dailies mostly and um, continuing to move forward here, but um, not grinding hard. So I'm still making progress. I'm still going to get to my goal of 80. I'm almost there. We'll probably get to it in this video, as a matter of fact. And um, things are still moving forward, which is fantastic. So um, not going to complain. Here we go. We can. We'll get this one shortly, so we'll open that one as well. Um, ooh, look at these dice. Let's see. What is that going to tell us? Ooh, that's nice. It gives you a percentage chance. So that answers that question that I always had. Chance of an orange chip. I don't know if this has always been on here. It's the first time I've seen it. Um, what is that? One tenth of one percent, so one in a thousand ish chance of getting a orange chip, and that would be one in four thousand chance of getting a purple chip, and one in three thousand ish in a blue chip. So that would explain why I've never seen those in here, and also the reason why you should never buy these in the store because all those all that hard work you spent 
to get those um i forget what they're called the tokens whatever you can use to buy other things it's not worth buying this because you're not going to get them you can take the eleven thousand items that you have and just go ahead and buy a purple chip straight out so much better idea much better chance much better probability of getting that so this is the reason why you don't buy that chest sure you might hit it but in the long run it's it's not a it's not a good buy um, but we're going to get it for free so we're going to open that one today let's go ahead and complete this last daily i missed here or i hadn't gotten yet so we just got it and i completed a new um i didn't i haven't done a, uh, a bunker in a very long time and as you can see i didn't finish this one and they do give you an option to buy for 750 crypto coins and i will tell you why that's a bad idea so if i it's going to give me a total of 150 and if i go down here it says i missed 150 so that is one and a half levels because i need 100 to finish a level it's going to cost it's going to give me 150 so it's one and a half levels for 750. if i go to the store up here i can buy a level for 260. i can buy two levels for 520. so you know one and a half would be 390 which i can't get obviously so i don't know how they come up with this offer this is the same thing it is in hustle castle and it is not worth it and i highly recommend not doing it it's it's been that way for a while if you want to buy a level go ahead in the store and buy it don't buy it by trying to complete your weekly unless Com, you know completing one of those allows you to complete the whole week which gives you a whole lot more so then maybe it's worth it but if you're just missing one or two it's not worth it so started the third week here uh, i've gotten two of the quests completed so far almost done with this one bunkers i gotta get 10 bosses since i'm not doing the bunkers the chances are pretty good i'm gonna miss that one which is two levels that certainly hurts uh, we're working our way through there and this random act of kindness you have to pay crypto coins to give those out which is unfortunate but there's one that's like 35 i think so it's about 100 crypto coins there to get one level which is a better deal than we saw up there in the store uh dog tag collectors the the um the uh what's it called the tunnel is still open so watching videos there at level cc10 you can get 2000 just for watching videos um, we're gonna have to make some of these so i'm not on that one yet um so we're on our way uh where are we at here so we have 31 different rewards to open so let's go ahead and open some if not all of those let's just do this one right here now nah, let's wait on that this would be useful so we have to come up with a way to get 15 more by the time this video is over maybe maybe not let's see what we have i guess uh before i jump into there if you may recall from the last video i was you know pretty much guaranteed to buy that uh, item but i hadn't yet uh just as a note there it is right there i went ahead and bought this this is you know a really good item i can't use it yet because i don't have any at that level but it is a very good item that i wanted backstab or uh, what's it called here teleport i guess we call it um definitely want to teleport and this is a bonus one because it gives you a half extra second plus you get the, the damage right there in the front so good one definitely wanted that so i made i went ahead and made that purchase and i think there might be another purchase available but i think that's a 99 dollars one right um yeah right there i'm guessing that's a really expensive one so that's highly unlikely to be the box i'm not going to be spending 99 bucks that's for sure where did we leave it here we go let's go ahead and start claiming some of these items here those will come in useful whenever i decide to go back in and start doing bunkers uh, like i said i took a took a little bit of time off working a little bit on the channel as well as oh background very nice as well as just taking a bit of a break from the game i needed i needed that time off uh nice this is what we need right here so we can level up our active armament here so that'll be nice this is the one i'm running right now uh, i'm not sure let me know in the comments what you guys are running are there uh better out there that you have that i don't which doesn't take much because i don't have many uh, i'm just curious what you guys are running there so these will be good again i'm waiting for putting these chips in all for most of my chips anyway for the prices to come down because right now they're still very expensive there we go chemistry knowledge that'll be useful that'll we'll go put that into play right after we're done doing this what is this called this is a key card which allows us to get more items in the bunker so a lot of good bunker stuff i just need to get into the bunker and what do we have a level 100 oh 98 only 22 percent chance for 90 so that's really good plus deals an extra 500 damage that ignores defense we have this weapon in hustle castle as well it's very good plus we got extra damage three different slots there so very good i do like that one let's go ahead and see what the armor is so we got a matching armor chemistry damage taken is reduced by 50 when the chemist 
when taking chemical damage reduces chemistry knowledge and all. This is a good one, but right now I don't know if we have it. I gotta go click on these guys in the background here. I don't, but I do. Um, I don't know if we have a lot of that right now in this game, but it will be coming where the chemists go and fight your um, rangers in the back rather than just focusing on the uh, infantry in the front. Uh, but it will be coming, so even if this isn't useful now, it will be useful in the future. Or it will be useful, but it might not be as useful. Let me put it that way. All right, so we still got 22 more items to collect here. More crypto coins. Always need those. Ooh, 1,000. Very nice. Uh, this I'm never a fan of. Chemistry damage. It'll be it'll be useful in the future, but not my primary mode of damage at the moment. This is a good one for sure. Health. Obviously useful, but I have a ton of those. I'm up to almost 800 of those now, I think. I think Hustle Castle, I'm up to almost 2,000, so obviously I don't spend those nearly often enough. I, I, I do them all the time for my dailies, but I only do like two or, three, two or three of those now. So we can get a bunch more purple chips here as well, but again, I'm holding off on those until after uh, after the prices come down. Here we got a times two data collector. We got a bunch of those now. I think this is an arena weapon, maybe? Splash damage, oh yes, very nice. Each blow increases the damage done. Again, not the point of this guy to deal damage, and this is a slow item, but if you take this one and put a prototype on it, it, does, it has a chance to do triple damage, highly useful. And especially if you you know put these chips on, which again, I don't usually recommend doing chips for damage on your tank, but, um, or the ax is also very slow, it's not necessarily worth it, but that um, if you got that prototype on that one, it's very useful. So highly recommend that one. I've been running that one in Hustle Castle for a very, very long time. So I definitely recommend that one, assuming the functionality is the same here in uh, Zero City. And what do we have here? Chemical damage. Bummer, bummer, I'm getting a lot of those. Most of those can be sitting on the bench, probably not gonna be equipped. I think this is an arena weapon. Hopefully not chemical damage. Come on. Ooh, there we go. 12% chance to do 100% damage in five seconds. Each blow increases the damage done. This is a good one. I like this one. Um, I'm not a fan of the assassin. Obviously, we're running one here, so maybe I can make it work in Zero City. I can't, I've never been able to make it work successfully in Hustle Castle, uh, but we are making it work okay here, so this is a good one. Um, someday we might get an assassin going at level 100, but that's gonna be a ways down in the future. And here we got a damage chip, fantastic orange, extra 500 damage, absolutely wonderful. And here's our purchase, we'll go ahead and see what that is. I'm not gonna get my uh, hopes up on that one because I think it'll be too expensive. Ooh, look, we finished another quest. Uh, they're very nice, we need those. We need these, whatever they are. Ooh, I don't know if I can level, ooh, 11 of those, wow. Yeah, we'll have to go see. Oops, I wasn't supposed to open this one, was I? I was trying to save all these for the end. All right, well, I guess you guys get to see this one right now. This is the big one, or is it not? I think this is the big one. Maybe not, actually. This is 85, yeah, this is the problem with, I might actually be able to use this one right now. Um, these chests only m m give you items based on your highest level fighter, which mine currently is 85, so that's why we have this. Um, so it might be more beneficial to level up your fighters before you open those up. But what's done is done. So let's go here. Very nice, we'll be using that someday. Extra damage, very nice, we'll be using that. Uh, right before we open this. So this is the chest here, I guess. Special rewards, let's look. And I would say, I, I save those up in pretty much all my games and do those at the end, but I think I'm probably not going to do that here because there's some armament parts which will be more useful right now um, for immediate use and the chance of getting those special items are pretty low anyway so um, now later whatever it doesn't make a difference let's go ahead and take a look at this offer while we're here Ooh, it's only 20 bucks I was wrong again look before you leap rotating blade once in a while throws a blade at the closest enemy stunning it and dealing 22,500 damage the Blade bounces to near my enemies up to six times. Stuns enemies when dealing damage. Each bounce deals 30% less damage. Yeah, that's nice. Extra damage, I'm all for that. Plus stunning, and stunning is huge, so another good one. So if I decide to do that, that'll be two uh, prototype, prototypes? No, what are those called? Multi-purpose weapons um, for level 100. And this is part of the reason I wanted to go up to CC10 is so I can start collecting these top level uh, multi-purpose weapons and gear 
rather than having to, you know, get lower level ones and then have to get them again, hopefully if they ever come out in the future. All right, so we'll save this one for last for today. This one's gonna be our chest. Watch me get an orange here because I told you guys it's no chance. One in a thousand here, let's see if we can make it happen. That's the that's the normal results right there. Greens and commons. Uncommons and commons and then some uh what's that? It's not called dust here. Components. So that right there is typical of what you get in those chests that cost fifteen thousand whatever those items are called. So that's why you don't get those. Alright, another ranger tech. Upon dying stuns enemies. This will be a good one for an assassin again if we decide to go there. Okay, is that everything? We've got two left. What are the two? I guess I have another one of these. Let's go ahead and see what this is. Oh, we got those ships, right? That's why we have that one. So that completed another level, and now we're 40 away from, which, you know, we could blast through, but there's really no, no hurry. This will give us three more levels, plus we finish that one. That's going to give us almost another level. So four levels which will take us to the end of the event, and then you don't get anything until every five levels. So um, I'll go ahead and collect this this data. We can do some some uh, officer leveling here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and open these up. I was going to save them, but there's really no reason. Uh, have we been getting good RNG? You know, you guys, uh, if you follow my uh, Hustle Castle theories on on those on that channel, um, got a theory on how... Uh, how to random or how the randomization for the items in these chests are drawn um, not based on anything other than me um, completely guessing and making observations over over things that I've seen so anyway I wasn't getting the best pulls on there you know in my mind so in my mind that means RNG is not perfect so uh, we're going all the way back down to number one here and get that other chest I'm just gonna do it instead of waiting no point in waiting so if I get a good item, I'm going to stay here. And if I don't, then I'm going to back out and come back in. So these are all things I can use right now. So this is part of my reasoning for wanting to open them up now. Not getting the, the big stuff I wanted to, of course, but it is stuff that will be useful. So let me just back out. So my philosophy in Hustle Castle is, you know, when I open up a bunch of those things, if I go like three times in a row with nothing, I back out, restart. Kind of my theory is once you come in, there's like a, a random number that's set and then that random number is going to determine your chances of getting a higher quality item and it gets reset when you come back into the screen so again no facts here it's all all me just talking out of my mouth we'll just say um keep it clean here and uh might be something to it just because i've seen it but you know, i might be seeing it because i believe i see it so anyway that's enough of that Ooh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. What is all this stuff? Speaking of uh, good rolls, I mean, this is a lot of rare stuff. I'm not I'm never going to use. Let's start. Let's start here. Of course, they're all lower levels, which is a bummer. Reanimation. Okay. We might be able to use some of these right now, actually. Once in a while, when an enemy unit is killed, backstab. Did I just buy one of those? I might have just bought one of those. That's a bummer that I bought that. Um, that's good. Again, it's a lower level, but still something we can use probably right now. What is this? Suppression prevents all win. Whoa, this was quite the pull. Fantastic. I didn't get the, you know, the top level stuff here. Once in a while, stuns an enemy. This is uh, an arena weapon, actually. So this is the one that I always wanted, and then I wanted to uh, prototype it up. Which I might, I might actually have this one, um, but I didn't get the prototype, so I never got to test that out. So that was quite the chest. That was a huge pull. Huge. That was really good. I might have to uh, put a couple of those in here. This video is going to go way longer than I expected because we're getting some good stuff here. Fantastic. All right. Well, that's all we have for now as far as opening things. Um, let's look at... What are we going to look at? I don't know if I have backstab on anybody. It might be good to put backstab on him, actually. You are doing... Zombie shooter. Okay, that guy actually comes in handy quite often. So I don't have many multi purpose weapons, obviously. This one's coming out and randomly doing some damage of some sort. So let's look at our DPS here, real quick. So we got 19,000 DPS. And this one. 
he's already got a pro we could switch that to somebody else so and this is ten thousand so what i'm going to do here we're going to give you the backstab prototype multi-purpose weapon sorry wrong word what is all this stuff 60 to 75 90 to 100 can't use that either what was this thermal tr oh yeah there's that one so we got two already and if i buy them all three then we'll get 200 that's nice uh where was the what's this guy doing on the bench with all those chips in there that's why level 70 is too expensive to pull them out right now here we go here's all here's all these guys 60 75 we can't use it here's the backstab we'll equip you with the backstab oh yeah and we got another one which was you are doing someone's a sniper so that means we're gonna have one on everybody right and what's the bait no i know we got another one somewhere there he is right there once in a while which is the best trigger prevents all enemies from using those which is highly useful those come in very handy and then all the rest of this is just uh, higher levels than we can use right now. So, well, that's pretty nice. I'd say we came out pretty far ahead. There, there's probably some other things we can do. Uh, I'm not going to look too far right now. Look at that. We're fully, oh, no, we're missing one multipurpose, it looks like. Um, but obviously the, uh, the goal here is to be upgrading at some point. So that is certainly going to be setting us with a new historical high, for better or for worse. Um... This is not going to tell me my historical high, I believe. 1760. It might be. And then this will be higher than that, right? 1794. So my historical high is currently 1760, I believe. Because I think that is what somebody told me. And now we're at 1794. So if I could find a way to drop 34,000 and still keep my strength up, I will come out way ahead. But I have to do that before fighting. Um, and that would require a few different things. Let's see if that's even a doable option. He already doesn't have an amulet on, so there's nothing there. He already doesn't have bracelet. You potentially I could drop this one. To level 55 anyway, so 264. That drops us only 13,000. You, you're keeping everything. Can't drop that. What about this? Uh, can't drop that. Wait, hold on. What was this one? Health. That's a lot of health. I don't think we can drop that. We need it, even though it's the wrong one. Chemistry knowledge. Hmm. Maybe we'll actually put that on a, a chemist. But Allison having that extra health has uh, helped us survive many times. You unfortunately already have a blue or a purple. I don't want to take that off. Hmm. What are you running here? Chemistry knowledge. Hmm. What else can we do in a worthwhile attempt to drop some? Maybe we'll just stick with that. I mean, we're gonna be leveling up anyway, so maybe it's fine having having uh, higher power. Seventeen eighty. We still have twenty thousand to drop. Hmm. <laughs> Obviously, I could go down to some purples instead of some oranges, which I don't really want to do, but it might be, especially here. I can find something with a lot of health, because obviously chemistry defense and chemistry knowledge isn't helping him tons. Her, sorry. Let's see what we have for amulets that are giving us health. These are all high ones, I think, right? 86... Seventy-nine. Ten thousand health. That's a loss of seven. That hurts a lot. Ten thousand health. Let's see what that does for our power. We are at three sixty-one. Find one higher than ten eight. Probably not. Okay, so 
we're gonna lose 7,000 power, so it might not be worth it, but I'm gonna test it out. So what did I say, 361. So that dropped another eight. So now we have 12,000 that we're trying to save. And for those of you guys wondering what I'm talking about, this is a whole strength versus power thing. Um, your overall power, this official number that shows up here, your squad power, is only part of the story. Another part of the story is your actual useful strength that you're putting out there. So, um, and that is, you know, your tanks living as long as possible, so health and armor. Your rangers in the back working, worrying about damage, and that's it. Don't care about anything else. And then your chemists in the middle worrying about or using chemistry power, and nothing else. So. That is what I'm doing here. So I'm trying to lower my, my historical high. That's a number that you go into battle. And once you set that number, if I would go into a battle at 1.8 million, that means my historic high would be at 1.8 million no matter what I did to try to lower it. I could never make that number go down. So right now, I think my historical high is 1.76. And I see right now I'm at 1.77, I think it was, right? So I'm trying to make sure I don't get above that 1.76 at the cost of obviously losing some, some stuff here. So that's going to be the... That's gonna be the question if it's worth it or not. So here's one we could consider, because really the goal of our chemist in the middle is chemistry knowledge. And we have an additional of 2289 chemistry knowledge. This defense, sure it's useful. Sure this is useful, but it's not as useful as, as the amount of power that it gives you. So we wanna add as much chemistry knowledge at the cost of the least amount of power possible. Um, you know, there's a fraction with that, which we, I'd have to see how much this adds in there and then we could come up with that number. So. Um, if I can come up with a chemistry knowledge closer to this with an item that's not as good, then it um, will raise our power less. So let's look for chemistry knowledge. These are too high, can't use those yet. Chemistry knowledge device, so 1300, we'd be losing um, 900. Let's see what that does. He was 176. We look at the one with health, there's 14. 13. 13. 13. 8, which is almost 1400. Plus the health, so that might have been okay. Chemical defense, which is not what we're looking for. 14. That's the highest one. We might go with that one. But it's defense. Maybe good, maybe that. Ooh, look at that. 16.4. All right, let's do that. So I forgot what the number was. One. I think that only lowered us by 2,000. All right, let's go see where we're at. We'll maybe be good enough for now. I'll uh, I'll micromanage this later off camera. Make you guys stop suffering to try to wait for the giveaway here. All right, so 1765. So 5,000 more I'm going to try to drop. And then I'll do some testing. I'll report back in the next video. So, okay, we'll uh, we'll stop there and go ahead and work on the next uh, giveaway details here. So, uh, we're gonna keep things the same as we've done every time. Easier for me, easier for you. Um, the way we always do it here, I give you random numbers, a range. You gotta give me a guess of what your number is gonna be. You're gonna give me your game ID. Click on the gear right here and I need this ID. This is what we have to do to turn it in so you can get your in-game rewards. Um, give me your in-game name here or whatever you want me to call you in the video if you win and give me your guess. And there's gonna be a Google form link down below in the description of this video. And I'm only gonna take entries in that description or in that Google form. So in the comments and all those kind of places and on Facebook and Twitter, I'm not gonna accept those. It has to be in the Google form only. Um, so give me your guess there and we'll keep it open for five days again just like last time and i'll go ahead and report the winners in the next uh, giveaway video which will be what day today tuesday so probably next tuesday again so um good luck to everybody the range this week is going to be twenty thousand to thirty thousand and give me your guess somewhere in that range between twenty thousand and thirty thousand and game id and and your in-game preferred name so good luck to everybody thank you for watching Thank you for uh, participating in the giveaways. And for those that don't know, these giveaways, the crypto coins are actually given. I didn't even mention it. Yeah, the winners, we're going to have five winners, and each winner is going to get 250 crypto coins. And those crypto coins are provided by the official Zero City Facebook page. Uh, they provide uh, all of our um, 
crypto coins that we give away every week and we have another giveaway that we've been running too every other week but that one's gonna be on hiatus for a little while we're taking a little break on the uh, zero city uh, private community page and that'll be back again in the coming weeks but for now we're gonna take a little bit of a break on that one so um for those of you wondering it will be back but the the weekly giveaways for the public zero city page will continue on so good luck to everybody good luck in the last week of the event hopefully you can grind hard get some of these specialty items um, for those that haven't heard the drop rates are ridiculously low so you shouldn't expect to get them if you do congratulations um, but don't expect to get them there's people that get to like level 300 and they don't you know they're not getting all of them so i'm not expecting to get any and i'll be okay with that so all right that will do it for today again good luck with everybody thanks for tuning in thanks for watching and drop a note in the comments if you got a moment and let me know your thoughts on the new setup here and the direction things are going so i'm just kind of curious what you guys are all thinking so thank you for watching this has been qc runner for qc runner games and i will talk to you later see ya